enough time to hide, so he just froze in place and pretended to be a statue. Ooh, well that one. Oh, that was a bit creepy. Oh, God. Oh. God damn it. Oh, God damn. Um, that is a bit creepy. That is pretty creepy in my book. Alright, I've done 25 minutes. Let's see. Humans can link to you. No, this doesn't seem like a scary or creepy urban legend. Wedgend? <laughs> I used to use curse, god damn it. Oh, then the next one is The Legend of Bloody Mary. Ugh. Bloody Mary Nar. It's like so dark in my room. Okay, this is um a big one. Alright, um, let's see. Now yeah, there's just like a trailer on the right side, I'm just watching it. Ooh, that's the Lone Ranger trailer on the right side. Anyway. Humans can lick, comma, two. An urban legend by David Emery. I'm probably said his name so many times wrong. Example, example, hashtag one. is told by Liz Langridge, Australia. Go Aussie. A young girl named Lisa was often left alone at her home because her parents worked so late. So they bought a dog to protect her. And keep her company. One night, Lisa was awakened by a constant shrieking sound. She got up and went to the kitchen to turn off the tap properly, and she was getting back in the bed when she stuck her hand under the bed and the dog licked it, showing her. The dripping sound continued, so she went to the bathroom to turn off the tap properly, and there again, in there too. She went back to her bedroom and stuck her hand under the bed again, and the dog licked it. Her dripping continued, so she went outside and turned off the taps out there. She came back in bed, stuck her hand, stuck her hand on her, and the dog licked it again. Still dripping continued, drip, drip, drip. This time she listened to locate of the source dripping. It's coming from a cupboard. Oh god! She opened the cupboard door, and there was her dog hanging. There was her dog hanging upside down, with neck cut and written on the window. Covered doors. Humans can look at you. Oh. Oh, God. God. Mm, I'm getting creeped out by this. 6 p.m. and. Oh, God. God. Shit. Shit underneath my table and underneath my bed. Fuck. 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 And the compliments on Facebook. Oh god. Oh god damn. Fuck are you serious? And as example two. Do you guys want to read example two? Me either, but we have to. We have to. We have to. I have to. I'm legitly scared. This is how fucking spooky it is. Oh god. 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 I'm gonna go on a Skype call for like five minutes. Get this off my chest, because that is creepy. Creepy as shit. Alright, alright. Let's continue reading these fucked up stories. Oh, thank god Johnny Depp. You always keep me company. Sponsor me, Johnny Depp. Anyway, example two of the humans can like two. Once there was a nice old lady who had a lovely little dog checking, checking it with my room, making sure. One day the old lady heard on the radio that a crazy murderer had escaped from jail. 
and that she should lock all her doors and windows. So she locked every door and window in her house except one tiny one to let some air in. She thought the murderer, murderer would never get in through there. So that night she went to bed as usual. She knew everything was okay because she put her hand down. The dog licked it. But later that night she heard drip, drip, drip. She put her hand down and the dog licked it. And everything was okay. So she went downstairs to check out the tap, but the tap wasn't dripping. So she went to bed again and everything was okay. She woke up later again in that night. But she thought the dripping sound must have been coming from the shower. She went in the bathroom and there was her dog hanging in the shower, dripping with blood. All its intestines hanging out. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Oh, fuck, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus Christ. God damn, that is messed. Like, these are really affecting me because I come alone in my room to the cupboard to my right. There's a desk underneath. I don't have a dog or anything, but. Oh, god damn. Alright. Do you want me to read example three? Oh god, the subject says, don't delete this, it scared the crap out of me. Alright. This will be the last one, most likely. Since I've only got ten minutes left. Alright. Once there was a beautiful young girl who lived in a small town just south of Farmersburg. Her parents had to go to town for a while, so they left their daughter home alone. But protected to her, but protected by her dog, which was a very large collie. Don't know dogs. The parents told the girl to lock all windows and doors after they had left. And at about 8pm, the parents went to town. So doing what she did told the girl she shouldn't lock every window and every door. But there was one window in the basement that was not closed completely. Trying as best as she could, she found out the window shut. But it would not lock, so she left the window and went back upstairs. But just to make sure that no one could get in, she put a deadbolt on the basement door. Then she sat down, had some dinner, and decided to go to sleep for the night, settling down to sleep around about 12 midnight. She snuggled up with her dog and fell asleep, but at one point she suddenly woke up. She turned, look at the clock, it was 2.30. Look at my clock, looking around. Alright, she snuggled down again, wondering what had woken her when she heard a noise. It was a dripping sound. God, no. She thought that she had left the water running, and now it was dripping into the drain of her sink. So, thinking it was no big deal and decided to go back to sleep, she felt nervous and reached her hand over her bed and let the dog lick her hand while the reassurance that he would protect her again about 3.45. She woke up hearing the dripping and she was already angry now but went back to sleep anyway. Again, she reached down the dog licked her hand then she fell asleep. At 6.52, the girl decided she had enough just... She had... She had had enough. She got up in just in time to see her parents were pulling up the house. Good, she thought. Now somebody can fix that sink. Because I know I didn't leave it running. She walked to the bathroom and there was a colored dog. Skinned and hung up on the curtain. Ron, the noise she heard was well, blood dripping on the floor. The girl screamed and ran into the bedroom. Get her and keep someone still in the house. And then on the floor next to her bed, saw a small note written blood saying, Humans can lick too, my beautiful. Now it's time for you to lock all the windows and doors. This is the... Oh, this letter is only chain letter, that is true. This did happen many years ago and the man who killed my dog was never caught. If you delete this letter, you will suffer the same. Basically, because that's what we did. Bullshit. Years after the dog was killed, she was raped in the same town. And the same house as the dog. Do not demise this letter or you do another thing. No, I'm not going to send the letter around. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I am copying that fucking link. Oh, fuck me. Still got time for one more story. Alright, okay, this is a short one, alright. 
Oh, I gotta look in the picture that's there. God. Jesus. Okay, I'm legit, I'm legitly scared at the moment. Happy fucking Halloween. Anyway, I need my water bottle. God damn. Ugh. God, I'm panicking. Okay, there we go. Oh man. I'm probably making another video finishing all the horror stories for a long Halloween special. Anyway. Okay, well, let's let's finish reading this. Some of my friends, five of us, had cramped ourselves into a small bathroom in my friend Catherine's house. We ended up saying Bloody Mary more like chanting it about twenty times or so for anything to appear when we did finally see something. Started out as green glow and darkened portrait of face became more visible. Oh fuck this, I can hear shit. Okay, well, face became more visible. I, I hear crackling. Oh for fuck's sake. Just, by the time half of us were screaming, so we knocked out each other trying to get out in the bathroom, then I flipped the light and I was, I was walking relief. Okay, fuck that. I'm done with stories for today. I'm so fucking done. I'm so fucking done. God damn it. Oh god. Oh man, I'm feeling fucking chills everywhere. Oh god. Touch myself. I'm gonna scare myself. Jesus. Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Oh god, fuck. Fuck. Just. Just why? Oh, oh god damn. Happy Halloween, people. God fucking damn it. So like five minutes left. I'm not gonna read another story. Those stories are insanely, insanely scary. Well, that's just my opinion. Those stories. They, they scared me, those stories. They really did scare me. Since I'm alone in my room, got a double door cupboard. My bed's right there, and, I, and I'm under a desk. <sighs> shit, shit, shit. Alright, I was gonna go get a drink, stop panicking, come back, and I'll read another story. One more story will do it. Alright, see you guys then. Alright, I'm back. I've calmed my man boobs. As people would say. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Urban legends like. The top 25 most. Oh god. This one's going to be good as shit by the guy. Four minutes to read it. So let's go. Two dorm mates in college were in the same science class. The teacher had reminded them about the midterm the next day when the one dorm mate, let's call her Julie, got asked to this big got asked to this big bash by the hottest guy in school. The other dorm mate Meg had Pretty much no interest in going and being a diligent, delinquent, delinquent student. She took notes on what Milton was about after an entire period of flirting with her date. Julia was totally unprepared for her test, while Meg was com completely prepared for a major study with her books. At the end of the day, Julia spent hours studying ready for preparing while Meg started studying. Julia tried to get Meg to go, but she was insistent. That she would study and pass the test. The girl wore rather close, and Julie didn't like leaving Meg alone to be bored while she was going out and having a blast. Julie finally gave up using the excuse that she would cram in her homeroom the next day. Julie went to the party and had the time of her life with her date. She headed back down to the dorm around 2 a.m. and decided to wake Meg. She went to bed nervous about the midterm and decided she would wake up early and ask Meg for help. She woke up. And went to wake Meg. Meg was lying on her stomach, apparently. 
sounds asleep. Julie rolled Meg over to reveal Meg Terrible's face. Terrified face. Julie concerned concerned turn on the this light. The desk light. Meg study stuff was still open and had blood all over it. Meg had been slaughtered Julie in horror. Fell to the floor of the sea rin fell to the floor. Walked up the sea rin on the wall and Meg's blood. Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the lights? Dear fucking god. Who comes up with this shit? Who honestly comes up with this creepy as of who comes up with this creepy as motherfucking shit? That's who I wanna know. That, that's not who I wanna that's what I wanna know, like you can't be doing this. Like come on. I'm scared to have my boots. I'm scared of my boots, come on. If I had boots right now, they would not be on me. They would be out the window because that's how scared I am right now. God, need water. Now turning off the light. Oh, god damn. Anyway, as this is coming to the end of the video, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who stayed this long and watched the entire video. Or if you just watched this one part of it. But anyway, happy Halloween. This might be... This part might be uploaded on another day, but happy Halloween, everyone. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. My name is Curtis Keo. I have a very unri unoriginal name. Like this video, please.